you doing? Are you good today? I'm going to take this hat off because it's sunny. A bit too warm for it. <laughs> yeah, you've spotted the tiger. That's because of today's story. Is that why you're here? I think he's asleep. Can anyone make a tiger sound? That's really good. This is Indiana. And he wants to do the sounds too. Will you do them with him? The first one is a tiger. <gasps> Next, an elephant. <coughs> now a monkey. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. How about a tarantula? <laughs> and now a snake. A parrot. Well done, everybody. I can't find the book. Where is it? On the floor. Down there. Oh, yes. Thank you, Tiger. Thank you for keeping it safe. So now it's time for you to go and get two things, if you can and if you have them. First is a teddy. Any teddy you want. Pause the video. We can wait. You're back. Well done. Now, the next thing to get, only if you have it, is the tiger who came to tea. What? The book. If you have the book, you can read along with me. If you don't, then listen and see. But where do tigers come from? The jungle. What else can you find in the jungle? I'd like to play a game. I'd like us to pretend that we're in the jungle. Are you ready? We need to first run, run on the spot, run. That's good. Now jump over logs. Duck under branches. High knees through quicksand. Run from the tiger. Talk to monkeys. Well, my name is Victoria. Do you have a name? What's your name? Bananas. You like to eat bananas. Is that what you've got in your hand? Wow. Oh, okay, hang on. It, it's past, it's not dinner time yet. Wait! Um, that's... They, they're the children that are watching the story time today. Yeah? Do you want, how about you go and sit in the tree? Yes, with the tiger. Are you okay to sit in the tree with the tiger? Excellent, I'll find you somewhere to sit. Is that okay, monkey? Are you all right up there? Oh, I'm so pleased. There's a baby tiger. Okay, everyone, sit down now. Come and sit down. The Tiger Who Came to Tea, written by Judith Kerr. There once was a girl called Sophie, and she was having tea with her mummy in the kitchen. Suddenly, there was a ring at the door. Sophie's mummy said, I wonder who that could be. It can't be the milkman, because he came this morning. And it can't be the boy from the grocer, because this isn't the day he comes. And it can't be daddy, because he's got his key. We'd better open the door and see. Sophie opened the door and there was a big, furry, stripy tiger. The tiger said, Excuse me, but I'm very hungry. Do you think I could have tea 
with you. Sophie's mummy said, yes, of course. So the tiger came into the kitchen and sat down at the table. Sophie's mummy said, would you like a sandwich? But the tiger didn't just take one sandwich. He took all of the sandwiches on the plate and swallowed them in one big mouthful. Oh! And he still looked hungry. So Sophie passed him the buns. But again, the tiger didn't just eat one bun. He ate all the buns on the dish and then he ate all the biscuits and all the cake until there was nothing left to eat on the table. So Sophie's mummy said, would you like a drink? And the tiger drank all the milk in the jug and all the tea in the teapot. And then he looked around the kitchen to see what else he could find. He ate all the supper that was cooking in the saucepans and all the food in the fridge and all the packets and tins in the cupboard and he drank all the milk and all the orange juice and all daddy's beer and all of the water in the tap Then he said, Thank you for my nice tea. I think I'd better go now. And he went. Sophie's mummy said, I don't know what to do. I've got nothing for daddy's supper. The tiger has eaten it all. And Sophie found she couldn't have her bath because the tiger had drank the water in the tap. Just then, Sophie's daddy came home. So Sophie and her mummy told him what had happened and how the tiger had eaten all the food and drank all the drink. And Sophie's daddy said, I know what we'll do. I've got a very good idea. We'll put on our coats and go to the cafe. So they went out in the dark and all the street lamps were lit and all the cars had their lights on and they all walked down the road to the cafe and they had a lovely supper with sausages and chips and ice cream. In the morning Sophie and her mummy went shopping and they bought lots more things to eat. They also bought a very big tin of tiger food in case tiger should come to eat again, but he never did. Instead, he's come here to visit me. He's eaten all my food already too. So I better get this tiger back to where he lives. Everyone say goodbye and we'll see you next time. Hello, a note from me. I am Victoria Ruskin. I run the Enchanted Players Theatre Company and I absolutely really miss entertaining children. So thank you very much for having us in your home on your devices. If you'd like to leave a donation, please follow the PayPal link. But more importantly, I would love some feedback. Please like and share and pass these videos on. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Hello, Billy. Hi, Joey. Hello, Christian. What are you up to?